How's it going everyone? It is Andre Williams and over here we talk stocks and we focus on one thing, always protect your profits. And today we're going to be talking about ChargePoint and as well as for SoFi. Both of these plays did end up having red days, but they are still in a position to actually move up further. I will talk about that inside of this video, but I want to remind you if you are new to this channel, we do have timestamps down below inside the description because I do value your time. So what we're going to do, we're going to be taking a look at the charts. We're going to be taking a look at the short interest. And then when all of that is done, I'll be giving you guys my final thoughts. So let's get into those videos. So we're going to take a look at the chart for SoFi. Let's see how it performed on the day. So it ended up closing at $5.28, being down 2.22%. On the low, it tested $5.07. And then on the high, testing $5.32. When we take a look at the volume stats on the day, you can see we traded at 35.978 million shares and the average volume over 10 and trading days is at 40.787 million shares. So we had below average volume on the day and we had a slight pullback in the stock. Now, when we take a look at our chart, which is a daily chart, what is very interesting to me, we had SoFi that came down to 507. This is when the market was getting beaten up. And of course, we're able to gain some momentum at the later parts of the day. And we could see that SoFi got to a high of $5.32 and closing at 528 is not a bad look because we're right on the nine. EMA which is around 526. We did end up breaking our higher low and as well as our higher high pattern but SoFi is still in play to make a move up. So the next area that you'd want to watch would be right here around $5.47. Not too far off from the significant area that I talked about at $5.50. Remember what I talked about $5.56? So now that we have another day that has passed and it has pulled back we have the 21 EMA that's trading at 5 55. So if we can get to this level and be able to hold it, then I like what SoFi looks like going into Friday. Again, we're taking a look at the price action and analyzing what the stock looks like going into Thursday. But with that said, if we end up having that momentum, then the best case scenario, SoFi would be getting to right here around the $5.76 level, which we've talked about for quite some time. If it decides to be bearish, then of course we get another retest at $5. And if the bulls do not show up, that's where we can start getting near to that 52 week low and then we want to see what it would do from there. So we're going to take a look at the recent institutional ownership and short interest information for SoFi. So scrolling down on the page, green rows indicate new positions while red rows indicate closed positions. So when we take a look at the recent filings, we have Savior LLC for October the 5th that purchased 9,117 shares. Now when we take a look at the short interest, the off exchange short volume ratio is at 30.34 percent and then for the off exchange short volume it is just over 6.01 million shares scrolling down on the page the short shares availability is at 10 million updated 29 minutes ago and then for the short borrow fee rate it is at 0.81 percent when we take a look at the history of the short volume we can see for the close of the third it is at 35.54 and then for the close of the fourth being at 30.34 so it went down a bit and then when we take a look at the short interest percentage of the float being at 12.60 percent so SoFi does continue to have short squeeze potential. So we're going to take a look at the chart for charge point. Let's see how it performed on the day. So it ended up closing at $15.64, being down 4.11%. On the low, it tested $15.07, and then on the high, testing $16.12. When we take a look at the volume stats on the day, you can see we traded at 7.727 million shares, and the average volume over 10 trading days is at 8.252 million shares. So we had below average volume on the day and we also seen a slight pullback in the stock. When we take a look at our chart, which is a daily chart, one thing that we can notice that charge point did end up filling in the gap that it had from the gap up from the previous trading day. So that is good for the chart overall. I know some of you might disagree with that, but as far as where we are, we're still above the nine EMA, which is at $15 and 59 cents. And we also have the 50 EMA, which is at 1565. So the fact that we close right around that level, again, just one cent below it, charge point still looks good. So the move that we want to look for going into tomorrow, we did see a high at $16.12. So despite the fact we did break our higher low and higher high pattern, charge point can still make a move to go back to $16. And if it can go back to 16, then you know the level to watch is right here at $16.51. Remember the day before we 
had resistance at $16.60. And if we're able to break above this level, that's when ChargePoint can get that opportunity to have some buying volume coming in and pushing it up further. So please add that to your notes. So let's say, for example, if it decides to be bearish. So we had a low at $15.07. So if we break below $15.07, you guys know what's coming. Yes, we're looking for support to come here right at this $14.30 range. But if we end up breaking through it, you guys know we also have a gap that needs to be filled at $13.28 just in case $14 fails. Let's see what it does going into Thursday. So we're going to take a look at the short interest information for charge points. So the off exchange short volume ratio is at 42.30%. And then for the off exchange short volume, it is just over 1.80 million shares. Scrolling down on the page, the short shares availability is at 1.9 million, updated 25 minutes ago. And then for the short buy fee rate, it is at 1.70%. When we take a look at the history, the short volume we could see for the close of the third, it is at 43.90. And then for the close of the fourth, being at 42.30. So it just went down a little bit. And then when we take a look at the short interest percentage of the float being at 17.10%, charge point does continue to have short squeeze potential. So for my final thoughts for charge point and as well as for SoFi, let's start off with charge point. So we know just like many other stocks inside of the market, we had a big time gap up on the previous day. So the great thing about it is charge point ended up filling in that gap. But one thing that is clear though, we do have a lot of buyers that stepped in right at $15. So going into Thursday, if we have momentum inside of the markets, I want to see charge point going back to 16 bucks. And upon getting back to $16, you guys know the levels that you want to watch. We want to see charge point above 1651. On the previous day, we had resistance at $16.60. So you know already, if we end up getting a break above these levels, then there's a high likelihood charge point can make that move going to $17. So please add that to your notes. And as far as for that $15 area, of course, we want to see continued strength. If we end up breaking below it, make sure you check out the chart portions of the video to figure out some more details on that and where it could potentially go, especially if we have a significant pullback inside of the market. And then when we took a look at the short interest information, charge point does continue to have short squeeze potential. But of course, you need to have that volume coming into the play. We haven't been seeing a lot of volume, so that is one thing to keep in mind. But for the most part, charge point is still in a decent position, despite the fact that it did have a red day. And as far as for SoFi is concerned, it was great to see that we had buyers stepping in right around that $5 level. It got down to a low of $5.07. So just seeing that, what do we want to expect from SoFi? We want to expect a move on Thursday going to at least above $5.33. If it can gain some more momentum, then you guys know already we want to see it getting back into the 550s. I said in my previous video, most preferably around 556. So if it's able to get there, then that opens the door for SoFi to want to make that move going to 576 and then $6. Please write these levels down if you're planning to trade it. If we decide to have a pullback, then of course you'd want to see weakness. You'd want to see a break at the low of the day at 507. And if it came down to $5, then you want to see if the bulls are going to step in. If they do not step in, one thing we know for a fact, the 52 week low is around $4.79. And we also have seen support showing up at around $4.82. So if you do have puts and you're looking to see some downside inside of the markets, you do not want to get too greedy whatsoever. And for my long-term investors out there, anywhere in that $4 range for SoFi, I feel deserves a lot of consideration. But again, do your homework and do your due diligence. This is very important and that's why I always say it. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I can't wait to see how both of these stocks perform going into Thursday. We'll talk soon.